In this tutorial we will discuss population inversion in two-level laser system. Lasers are designated to amplify light by the stimulated emission of radiation. For this amplification to occurs, a photon that passes through the sample of atoms must have a greater probability of stimulating emission from an electronically excited atom than of being absorbed by an atom in its ground state. The condition requires that the rate of stimulated emission be greater than rate of absorption that is clearly mentioned in equation 1. And here, B21 is the Einstein coefficient for emission. B12 is the Einstein coefficient for absorption. N1 is the number of atoms in level E1. N2 is the number of atoms in level E2. Rho V nu 1 2 is the radiant energy density. Since, B21 is equal to B12, the stimulated emission is more probable than absorption from equation 1 only when N2 is greater than N1 or the population of excited state is greater than that of lower state. Thus for light amplification, a population inversion between the upper and lower levels must be generated. The rate equation for non-degenerate two-level system is clearly mentioned in equation 2. Here, B12 is equal to B21 and B21 is equal to B and A21 is equal to A is used. Here, A21 is Einstein coefficient for spontaneous emission. In thermodynamic equilibrium the rate of stimulated adsorption is equal to the sum of the rate of stimulated emission and the rate of spontaneous emission. It is clearly mentioned in equation 3. At time t is equal to 0, n1 is equal to n total, so we can replace n1 by n total as shown in equation 4. The solution of equation 4 is given by equation 5. If we make a plot of n2 by n total as a function of time t, we will get the curve as mentioned here. This curve indicates that the population of n2 increases exponentially with t and reaches a steady state of value less than 1 by 2 at time t tends to infinity. When t tends to infinity equation 5 becomes equation 6. Since a is greater than 0, equation 6 says that n2 by n total is equal to n2 by n1 plus n2, which is less than 1 by 2 as mentioned in equation 7. Thus, according to equation 7, the number of atoms in the excited state can never exceed the number of atoms in the ground state. Hence, a population inversion cannot occur in a two-level system. Population inversion takes place only when number of atoms in excited state is greater than that of ground state. This much for today, thanks for watching, bye bye, see you.